Now we will have our welcome address by Violetta Curry, our valedictorian. Good afternoon, faculty, administrators, mentors, friends, family, and of course, class of 2012. Ever since freshman year, I knew I wanted to be right here giving this speech. But when the day to write it actually came, I started to freak out. I didn't know if this speech was supposed to be funny or inspirational. I wasn't even sure that you would be able to see me over this podium. But then I got a text message that read, Fool, said my muse to me, look in thy heart and write. Sir Philip Sidney, my sisters and my friend were right. I just needed to write. We are gathered here today to celebrate our accomplishments for the past four years. I remember freshman year, walking the halls, thinking we could conquer anything. And then, when approached by an upperclassman, we would freeze. But look at us now. Today is the day that we are assured of our magnitude. The difference between then and now is that we have grown and overcome our challenges. Together, we have evolved from intimidated freshmen to self-assured graduates and have shared unforgettable experiences along the way. We should all be proud of ourselves because it was our determination, our desire to succeed, and our will to lead that helped us get to this day. In the end, we owe a lot to ourselves. However, that is not to say that we did it all by ourselves. We all had support from our families, teachers, mentors, and friends. I want to take this time to thank the people that have been there for us. First, I would like to thank our families. In particular, I would like to thank my family for never letting for never telling me what to do, even when I need a direction. Each time I seek them for advice, they go off on their own tangent and end up telling me to do whatever I want. So that every time I make a mistake, I cannot blame them. Yep, that's my family. It's their way of caring for me. I'm sure you all have a family as encouraging and supportive as mine, who will do anything for you, but never quite make a decision for you. I thank them for that today. I would not be the person I am if they didn't encourage me to do my, to do my, be my best and follow the path I choose. I want to believe that every graduate today has at least one person just like my, my family. Someone who listens to you, allows you to make your own mistakes, and gives you the freedom necessary to be yourself. So to everyone that has motivated us, I thank you for allowing us to follow our dreams. No one puts up with more from us than our teachers, advisors, and counselors. We are in school eight hours a day, five times a week, and for, for some of us, we spend much more time than that in the walls of Habitant. Our teachers have been a large part of our lives. They teach us what they know and help us achieve our goals. They help us turn problems into problems solved. They helped mold us into, the, into better people. They have been a part of both our bright light bulb moments and not so bright comical moments. They are an inspiration to me and to every other graduate here today. I want them to know that it is their dedication and contribution to my studies what I am most thankful for. Classes were unforgettable with each of our favorite teachers. In particular, I will always remember my AP English Literature class. I was lucky enough to have one of the few teachers that can keep a class interesting by sharing pretty random but hilarious live stories while still teaching Old English. English Lit was one of my favorite classes. However, I must say I'm disappointed that I still haven't seen the famous Figgy dance. But enough about that. What I really want to acknowledge are those teachers who can put a smile on our faces that help us look forward to school every day. And Hamilton is filled with teachers like these. If you were lucky enough to have one of those teachers, 
then you will leave this school with great memories. Maybe you, maybe you will re most remember Sister Wendy tapes in our history, or those ridiculous calculus jokes in the morning. Whatever moment was your favorite, we all leave here today with memories of insane dance moves, fame recollec recollections of study nights, awkward mornings, and a mental image of the teachers that will be remembered. So to teachers that have inspired us, I thank you. And finally, I would like to acknowledge the people that make high school worthwhile, our friends. These last four years would not have been as memorable without my friends by my side. You guys are the most cynical, fun, smart group of friends that anybody could have. Friends never fail at friendship, and that's why we all deserve an A for being such great friends. No matter what type of student we, you were, chances are your friends were the first thing you looked for at the start of the school day. Many will walk in and out of your life, but only true friends will leave, leave footprints on your heart. For those friends that will no doubt drift apart, keep these years as proof that though life takes us in different paths, we are who we are because of the friendships we made here. The experiences we have shared have shaped us into the young men and women that we are today. To you friends and fellow graduates, I'd like to point out that no matter where, where life takes us, college, workforce, marriage, the unknown, I urge you, my fellow graduates, to take what you have learned and put it to good use. Draw from these experiences and help each other change the world. Make a difference and believe in yourself. What we call the beginning is often the end, and to make an end is to make a beginning. And the end is where we start from. Now, continue on your way, class of 2012. Congratulations.